Hello everyone, welcome to this video and this is the second time I record this because the last time I recorded the microphone was not connected yeah, fail but anyway, uh, today I'm gonna teach you how to draw with a mouse in Photoshop and I already made a video about this I think I made two videos uh, but this is like a tip, this is like a second part it's something that is gonna help you and I'm gonna explain a lot of things and stuff I'm gonna explain like the same things I explained for the people who don't wanna go to the other video but I'm gonna start with a tip that is gonna really going to help you like to make things better and easier so yeah let's get started first of all you have to go here to where it says view and you gotta select this option here that says rulers and what this is gonna do is this is gonna create this rulers as you can see here but they are not just rulers. If you click them and drag, as you can see, you can create these reference lines or these guides that are parallel, like are horizontal and vertical. And they are parallel to each other stuff. So it's really help you it's really helpful if you're gonna do like something that has to be like something in perspective or something that has to be really precise and stuff like that because if you use the pen tool like in the other tutorial I explained how to use the pen tool and stuff like that but I'm gonna explain it later right now but what this is gonna do is if you click for example in uh, just in the corner it's gonna create the dot exactly in the corner or of the figure that you have so let's say you want to do like a completely horizontal thing. It's really hard to like do it like this. Like it's gonna, it's not gonna be exact. It's not gonna be precise if you do it like this. But if you have this reference line, you can just click here or and then click here, and this is completely horizontal. You know? Let's say you want to do a square. Well, you do this, and that's it. Oh. Yeah, exactly. But if you want to do a squirt like this, it would be really hard. Like, look at this. So, uh, now I'm going to teach you something. Let's say that you want to, for example, make this like curves, not, not all straight. You just have to click on the middle and it's going to create a new dot. So, if you press Ctrl and drag it, it's going to create a, a curve. As you can see here, it creates a curve here too. So as you can see, it's really helpful because you can create like whatever shape you want to create just using this technique, right? It's really helpful. So now I'm gonna. Oh, I I forgot to tell you this. Let's say that you have this the brush yeah you have this your brush here like imagine doing a shape like this all perfect like this with the brush it would be really hard like just try to make a straight line with the brush like it's almost impossible right so what we can do is we're going to go to the pen tool again we click here uh, right click and we say a stroke path and we press ok and what this is going to do, this is going to automatically create the path that we have, like the shape that we have, with the brush. So it's really cool. And there's another option, like if you click here, and uh, simulate pressure, it's going to create like this pressure sensitivity effect, like that looks like if you did it with a, with a Wacom or something, like a graphic tablet that has pressure sensitivity and it's really nice and you can just fill the shape with color and that's it like you here select the color you want and that's it really nice so I'm gonna teach you other thing that I was thinking about like let's say you want to do like a like a 3D stuff I don't know 
look what you can do here. Well, <laughs> because like if as as I as I said before, if you were doing this with like without the reference lines, it would be really hard. You know. But as you can see with the reference lines, you can do this type of things and it's gonna look really clean. It's gonna look like there's not gonna be like white spaces in between and stuff like that. That sometimes happens. So as we, as you can see here we created like a square. I'm gonna clear here. So we create like a 3D shape, as you can see, and it looks really clear, uh, r really clean. Like if we zoom in, there's not like a white space or anything. Like if we do it without the reference lines, it would be probably like a white space here or something like that. So yeah, other thing, like if you have these guidelines here, you can go here, uh, view, and clear guides and it's gonna erase them all automatically but if you want to like just erase one you just drag it to the to the ruler and that's it so yeah that's basically all the tutorial uh, I hope it really helps you and remember that in my channel I have more tutorials like this I have flash and Photoshop tutorials so I'm uploading it every day <laughs> it's every day bro with the <laughs> No, I'm joking. But yeah, I'm I'm uploading tutorials every day right now. So if you want to learn more about Photoshop and Flash or whatever, uh, just go to my channel and subscribe. And yeah, I hope this tutorial really helped you. And see you in the next videos. Bye.